Stephen and Carolyn, Police Chief James Craig says he's turning the findings of his internal investigation over to the Wayne County Prosecutor's Office for possible assault charges. And here's why. He said officers got into a fist fight. One had a cut lip. Another had a cut eye. He says it happened in front of this suspected drug house that we first showed you on Friday. This happened Thursday night in the 19,300 block of Andover. They appeared to be like Keystone cops. I could not agree more. Very embarrassing to this organization. And As we first reported, it happened here on Andover Street near Seven Mile and John R., a neighborhood known for drugs and prostitution. Take a look. Only seven Action News cameras are rolling as internal affairs officers work the case Friday afternoon. Very busy. 24-7. The chief now confirms officers from the 11th precinct conducted the raid similar to thousands of heavy-duty drug raids staged every year in Detroit, executing a search warrant at this house when they confronted undercover officers in front, posing as the drug dealers from the 12th precinct. And their supervisor, the chief says, may have provoked the clash. It appears that this supervisor did not have control of the situation uh, and had a tendency uh, to get uh, the officers from the 12th precinct excited. The chief says a similar mistake in 1986 caused Detroit police to implement what they call a deconfliction communications protocol that prevents these volatile confrontations from happening because 31 years ago, it was the worst kind of communications breakdown. Ultimately, there was a firefight between the uniform officer and the plainclothes narcotics officer. Two officers died as a result of that issue. Now the chief says the system works when it's followed. Some of the officers in this were wearing body cam videos. That's part of the investigation. The chief says he's looked at two of them, and all of this will be turned over to the Wayne County prosecutor. Stephen, Carolyn? Hey, Jim, uh, a question for you here. What happened to the drug raid? Did they eventually get the guy they're after? Yeah, chief said there was one guy inside. They did recover a gun but they didn't find any drugs. He says they may have been flushed down the toilet because all of, all of the commotion that happened out in front before officers were able to get inside. Keystone Cops, Jim Kircher, thank you for the live report. Carolyn.